Robert Altman's film rumbles forth from its murky, scarcely muttered and half-heard opening, and Mrs. Miller bumping into view accompanied by the music of Leonard Cohen, which in my opinion has never found a better home. The town of Presbyterian Church is wet and trampled with mud in all seasons other than winter, when it is blanketed by an unending flurry of snow. Altman and his crew effectively built the town themselves on location in West Vancouver, and not before or since has a picture been so expressive of a time and place, and yet so utterly unfastened, conjuring an atmosphere of dark, closeted warmth, and still maintaining a cold, cruel, inescapable distance between characters who seem to have drifted together on some sort of whim. The film is about a charismatic gambler, John McCabe, played by Warren Beatty, who arrives in a mining community and decides to open a brothel. The local residents are impressed by his confident demeanor and fast talk. A crafty prostitute, Constance Miller, played by Julie Christie, sees through McCabe's words and realizes he isn't as sharp as he seems. For a share of his profits, Mrs. Miller agrees to help plan and run McCabe's establishment, but soon a powerful company threatens to destroy what they have built up. Warren Beatty compellingly portrays the switch from overbearing man of action. To helplessly sensitive, while Christie is at once stern and unstructured and seductive in swift glances, there is poetry in this. It is the most unfathomable and most unshakable of westerns. It's like no other western I've ever seen. For one thing, Altman's heroes are hardly the stuff of Western legend, with Beatty playing a role the seedy pimp come entrepreneur, and Christie the tough cockney prostitute. It's the kind of movie that eavesdrops not just on its cast, but also on the grocery store, the saloon, the brothel, and the weather too. One critic has said that the camera is so unobtrusive that you feel everybody continues their conversations long after the filming has ended. With poor initial reviews, the film did not perform well at the box office in New York, but it was more successful in other parts of the country. It's not often that a director makes a near-perfect film. Robert Altman has made a dozen films that can be called great, but only one of them is near-perfect, and that one is McCabe and Mrs. Miller. This is one of the saddest films I've ever seen, filled with a yearning for love and home that will never come. With its fascinating, flawed characters, evocative cinematography by the great Vilmar Zygmunt, innovative overlapping dialogue and haunting use of Leonard Cohen songs, McCabe and Mrs. Miller brilliantly de-glamorized and revitalized the most American of genres. We score McCabe and Mrs. Miller an incredible 8.9 out of 10. Let us know what you thought of the film in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button to show your support for our channel if you're enjoying our content. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.